In the spring of 1963, the focus of the civil rights movement turned to Birmingham, Alabama. Birmingham is always seen as, as the bedrock of racism and it certainly lived up to that vision that we have of Birmingham. Especially civil rights activists thought, if we can just convert Birmingham, this, this, this is hell. And if we can convert it, the others will fall. So that's the reason Birmingham is so important in this movement. The battle to desegregate Birmingham began in April. Local African Americans, working closely with Martin Luther King Jr. and the Southern Christian Leadership Conference, forged a tightly knit community of struggle. Much of the work was done out of the 16th Street Baptist Church. Daily marches began on April 3rd, and each day the police intervened. On April 12th, King himself was arrested. From his jail cell, he wrote an open letter explaining and defending the actions of the protesters. When you are hired by day and haunted by night by the fact that you are a Negro, when you are forever fighting a degrading and degenerating sense of nobodiness, then you will understand why we find it difficult to wait. The letter from Birmingham jail was uh, King's, um, I think, most profound attempt to influence public op opinion um, during the Birmingham protests to explain why there was this urgency, why protest was necessary, why civil disobedience was necessary to achieve uh, social justice. What really made it work was the very bold decision by King and the SCLC people to have women and young people lead the demonstration. So when you do that and you have cameras showing the country every night the way in which these police dogs are attacking women and children and the way the fire hoses are literally lifting them up off their feet and throwing them against walls, uh, you have the most vivid possible demonstration of what the civil rights movement is all about and why change has to happen. Birmingham makes the Kennedy administration do what they had hoped never to do, and that is to take sides. And they're forced in this instance to take sides with Martin Luther King, with the movement, with the protesters. It's Birmingham that made civil rights matter. 